No, Will, I'm having a party. I'm carefree, understand? Free of cares. Hey, honey, would you like to help? Help set women back a hundred years? No, thank you. Thank you for our health. Our woman. Authority, I felt like you don't have authority. You have a responsibility, but no authority. That's what I feel. Now those are some strong words, but Joya? Yeah. You didn't ask for another date with him. What was the turnoff? Specifically, the turnoff was when I asked that question right about now. would you date a single mother? And Jacoby, you proceeded to tell me that basically you're a high value man and you are too good for a single mother. However, you did also tell me that you were raised by a single mother, which is profound for me to think that a single mother is not good enough for you, but it's good enough for a woman to raise you. That's unfair. And it's very insensitive to women out there who have children. All right, so just because it's a cycle, I wanted to, wanted to continue. I'm it doesn't just, have so, to continue. So what I'm saying is, it's, is that- It's more about why would you cut off and say that single women are because not on the same level. what you're supposed to learn from is history. So you're a very What's intelligent, that no, no, What's no, that right? you're you're very intelligent woman. You're a very intelligent woman, right? Yes. So if you know, if, as, a, as a woman growing up, you know it's the less likelihood for you to be successful by having a child. So what you do, you be more proactive. Using condoms. What's that got to do you make with sure your choice? You, OK, if you're getting pregnant, then all right, cool. Maybe I shouldn't continue having this child because I'm not, I, I'm not getting married. I should, I, a better chance of me having a successful life. You're Jacob, speaking of me. Yeah, that's Excuse what I'm thinking. Me. So you're, you were raised by a single mother. Yes. And Is I, your mother I still alive? I struggle. My mom's still did alive. Did she struggle or did you struggle? Both of us struggle. OK, so your words mm -hmm. that echoed all around mm -hmm. social media, and I want to make sure that we have this clearly, were, I'm a high value man. I've done things to step up my echelon, and I'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother. Yeah, Did I have sure. that correctly? I want to be clear. Yeah, it will, it will be selling. Right. So what makes you think you're a high-value man? The car you drive? No, the value I put out into the world. What about your character? I have great character. I built myself to basically have better choices. You want to know why? Because women can choose and make a choice. They can. They can say, I don't want to date a man that makes they like can. six figures. They can. And then what are you doing? You're but demeaning a man. But we're not talking about that. Women that's can not talk the about situation that Listen, hold on. That's not a their woman conversation. can say, I want to date a man less than 5'8". And a man could be 5'4". Do they, do they care about... What does that have to do with anything? all of those with men? Anything? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, oh, no, we're body positive. Oh, no, we can't say that. We can't. It's all about picking her up. So every time you're saying something for a man, Bro, it's down. Bro, you got, you got a lot on your back, yeah, OK? Man. So what I'm I want to be I'm clear, just not rights. just for you, but for everybody out there, is the car you drive, your resume, your bank account, uh -huh. your accolades is not what makes you a high-value man. Definitely not. We are all not defined not. by the sum of our deeds and our character. And you, brother, are coming up to the sum of zero. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be clear. It's Risha, and I wanted to come on here pretty quickly to talk about this clip that's been going viral. And usually I'm not the biggest fan of dating shows, but this one really piqued my interest due to the conversation being so controversial. For those of you who don't know, the Oprah Winfrey Network just came out with a new show called Put a Ring on It. And the guy in the clip, Jacoby, was getting so much backlash, not only from social media, but from the woman, Joshua, in the clip, because she was criticizing his preferences and not dating single mothers. The common knee-jerk reaction of disapproval was honestly to be expected from women, especially Black women, seeing how this show does cater more towards our demographic. And unfortunately, many Black women are single mothers or come from single motherhood households, so this sort of reaction definitely did hit close to home. Joshua was completely correct in calling out some of Jacoby's talking points because they were honestly kind of crazy at times, but I don't want us to sit here and disregard everything that this man had to say just because his delivery was pretty poor. Because if you break down the core of his arguments, everything he said truly made sense and was perfectly valid. Her trying to call out Jacoby by saying that he has no room to not prefer single mothers just because his mom was a single mother, I don't know if the point just flew right over my head, but that made no sense to me. How exactly can you sit here and say that we must entertain relationships with people just because they share similarities to our parents, as if we could choose our parents? I mean, many of you have fathers who are like, what, deadbeats, broke, 
ugly, fat, like balding, should we now say that you must date men within that same category just because your dad suits all of those characteristics? That has never been the case and I sure hope that no one follows that standard. I feel as though she was just trying to weaponize his struggles and growing up in a single motherhood household to try to guilt him into accepting that type of woman. And that's what I'll never understand with certain women. Why exactly? Because you'll never see me sitting down with a man trying to reason with him as to why I'm not his preference. Because what exactly is the point? If a man says that he doesn't like you or what you come with, is that not a good thing? Now I'm just curious, like what is the alternative here genuinely? Do you want this man to stay here and lie and claim that he does like single mothers all to do what? Date them, lead them on, sleep with them, toss them to the side the second he's reaped the benefits of what being with them when he's never wanted them just to suit your full idea of charitability? It makes no sense to me newsflash you should just get with the guy who does prefer you and every single thing that you come with by default who wholeheartedly loves the contributions that you can make for him the simple fact that he has had first-hand experience living in that scenario actually adds to the reason why his preference is the way that it is not that he even has to justify himself in the first place why are we sitting here pretending like you know dating a single mother doesn't come with baggage and no that's not me saying that single mothers don't deserve love or healthy relationships that's me acknowledging the reality that you know, dating certain people that fall into that category does come with problems. Sadly, many single mothers do fall into a dynamic where they're not really looking for partners, they're looking for helpers. Men who are looking for peace probably don't want to deal with baby daddy drama. And some women don't understand that even on a fundamental basis, at its core, many men don't want to take care of another man's kid. That's just how it is. And any family that they do create with you, they want it to come directly from him. And those are perfectly valid reasons to exclude single mothers from your dating pool altogether. The comments that he made that rubbed lots of people the wrong way was him basically saying that there's a link between, you know, having children and becoming less successful in life. And since she's an intelligent woman, she should have known better and been more proactive when it came to, you know, exercising her options when it came to birth control or making sure to not have kids outside of wedlock. And yes, the delivery was completely poor. But for us to sit here and act as though like we didn't understand what he was trying to say was just us being silly for the sake of argument. Ladies, please stop getting so emotional when you hear this sort of sentiment from men. The truth hurts, I know, but there's definitely something to be said about a woman who has children knowing that she won't get married or entertains risky sexual activity with low quality men. And yes, these men are low quality. The type of man who walks out on you and doesn't give you commitment, that is a bum, that is a deadbeat. And most of the times, you guys like to ignore the red flags that are pretty apparent in the beginning stages of the relationship. So that's not even an excuse get pregnant right now how you think your boyfriend gonna react i feel like he's done with the baby for real for real we always talk about stuff like that oh so he's jacking it oh d for real all right so call your boyfriend and tell him you pregnant right now let's to see what he gonna say all right. all right he's gonna say yes i don't even i don't really have to do this but all right let's put it to the test and see mm. you don't got your boyfriend number six first yeah. of all <laughs> hey babe it was good baby um so i gotta tell you something she haven't started laughing okay so, I don't know. Remember how, like, how we was talking about family and stuff? And, like, you know, you had nothing in me, like, you know, like a month ago. And my period's yeah, been late took, and stuff. You so. took the pill. You took the pill. Remember? You took I didn't. The pill. No, I didn't. I, I actually threw it out. But I'm pregnant, babe. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant, yeah. But you already. Yeah, that ain't gonna last impossible though. I ain't gonna no, lie to you. we about to have a whole yeah, family. Yeah. You ready? Uh, bro, no, you yeah, we about to have a family. Didn't you, didn't you go out for drinks like last night? No, no, like, no, you know no, like, no, like, no. Nah, yeah, bro, I'm keeping I, a baby, so I hope you're ready. Kid, and I'm not bro. working either. You're not work, bro. You work, bro. That's not my fucking kid. Bro. No, yeah, it is your, it is your kid. It I'm is. Not, so not, be I'm ready. Be ready. That's not my fucking seed. No, it is, babe. It is, babe. Yeah, what are you talking about? Kid, Last night, we was just talking about a whole family and everything, and you was ready. You was ready to have a son. I was ready. You wanted to name him Eli. Nice. The pom pom was nice, but what? you're not about to open here throw no kid on me, bro. Come on, I'm 22. I'm young and hurt. I ain't, I ain't about Dang. to take care of you. I'm taking care of on your own, your dolly. Single mom take thing. That's Dang. on you, bro. Don't Dang. pull my phone with that shit. Bro, well, I'm pregnant. They no said it's four don't, months. Don't, don't, don't come to my job. Don't come to my house. Don't call my mother. Don't talk to my mother. Ba she don't want babe, no way. She don't want to like you, bro. And you know that. So I don't know why you throwing that shit on me, bro. You bugging out, bro. You bugging. That's crazy don't as hell. Me, wow. Go, go get an abortion right now, bro. Just go get it. No, I'm not, not doing that. that. I'm not no, that. no. You, you my sure, baby, bro. and that's it. We locked yeah, in. We locked in, babe. That's that baby.
<laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's how your boyfriend is feeling. He's playing. You don't think he's playing? I don't think he. I think he dead eyes. Like there he is. I think he not. Nah, I feel like he's playing for real. That's how we play sometimes. You think that? Yeah. You think you think he, he, he? Sometimes we play like that, like but he know, like. He so know. call him back. Call him back. Like I asked him if he was playing or like he really wants you to go get an abortion. Like this is crazy. No, nah, he's really playing. I swear. Why you think he playing? Like that's my baby. Hello. What? Babe, you was just playing, right? Like you already know I'm really pregnant. And, like we gotta do this together. No, yes, we like. Oftentimes we project our dating standards and preferences onto men, and then get uppity when we find out that men and women simply don't want the same things. And what do I mean by that? The simple fact that many women wouldn't mind dating a guy who's a single father or has plenty of kids, even though we probably should. And Nick's got quite the family tree. Kids, you know I got a lot of them. In addition to Onyx, he has three kids with Abby De La Rosa, six-month-old Beautiful and one-year-old twins, Zion and Zillion. He's also father to 12-year-old twins, Moroccan and Monroe with Mariah Carey, six-year-old Golden, two-year-old Powerful and eight-month-old Rise with Brittany Bell, 10-month-old Legendary with Bree TAC, <laughs> I'm a whole human I'm responsible for. <laughs> he shares five month old Halo with Alyssa Scott and their late son Zen. While the internet has plenty to say about Nick's large family, the TV personality explains why his untraditional lifestyle works for him. All of these red flags this man was talking about in regards to single mothers applies to single fathers as well. There's an underlying sense of lack of control, responsibility, or planning on his part that sure not all single fathers have this, but there's enough of them for it to raise reasonable eyebrows. Them attacking this man's character simply because he expressed his preferences respectfully was just disgusting because he was correct. Just like how Josh is a high quality woman, therefore she expects a man to bring something of value to the table before she even entertains him, whether that be his money, his looks, his accolades, his car, anything. This man is clearly in a position where he can demand more. And for him, that's simply a woman who has not yet had children. This man has no kids of his own. He absolutely would be settling if he got with a single mother. And I hold this exact same sentiment for women with no kids who get with men with children. It's actually a really wild thing to see. Women my age, sometimes even younger, being ready to move in with a guy or date a guy with, what, four to five kids? Why? What is the point in that? Just because you can accept it doesn't mean other people have to. I've seen so many women come online complaining about how men just refuse to date single mothers, but they're perfectly fine with single fathers. Okay, well, maybe you should start taking notes. Men don't tolerate certain things, and maybe you should start not tolerating those things too. All logic went completely out the window when this clip dropped, and I'm very disappointed to see some of you ladies' emotional reactions in the comment sections, like putting words in his mouth, assuming things about his character, all to justify your disproportionate reaction to anything he said. Many of you just sound hurt. Not every man is going to prefer you, whether that be your age, your race, your height, your weight, your size. Okay, that is completely fine. They are entitled to that, just like how you have the exact same prerogative. Stop taking these conversations so seriously to the point where you're hopping on the internet, crying over standards of men who don't even know you exist. Go where you are celebrated and stop with this foolishness on Rosa Parks' internet. Anyways, that's that for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me your opinions down below. I'm really interested in what you guys have to say because this is such a controversial topic. And for those of you who are wondering, the wig on my head is called the Vice 10 Unit by Sensational in colors 27 and 1 for the 2.5 people interested. Bye!